A couple of years ago, I did a mod project with a Cooler Master Mastercase 5. It was an amazingly fun thing. I painted it incredibly badly, and anyone who's still sticking around from back then will know that while I had a lot of fun doing it, the end outcome wasn't amazing. Now, I actually still use that case. It's literally just off camera down there. It is my rendering PC, and you can go check out the rendering PC video if you want to see it in its, I guess, more current state. I also did a another mod project with the Cooler Master Mastercase Pro 5, or I think uh, Maker 5, um, which uh, was also a lot of fun. We did a giveaway of that case as well. So I think it's about time that I do another case mod, although hopefully this one is a bit more themed and potentially a bit of a better result. So what are we going to be modding this case into for this project? Well, the main thing is that, as you can tell by the title, I like to play Rainbow Six Siege. And while the operators that are in the game are kind of the more kind of staple pieces of things that people remember, the bomb from Siege is uh, kind of one of the key points, especially in competitive play, where that's the only game mode they play, and it's the thing that you're either uh, you know trying to defuse or defend. So I think this, especially with this case that I have here, it kind of suits that sort of style and aesthetic. So basically, I'm going to be turning this into the bomb from Rainbow Six Siege. Now, of course, kind of uh, height and that sort of stuff isn't going to be life size, but I think we can do a pretty good job at making this at least somewhat resemble it anyway. Now the case I'm using here is the Anodys A17M. It's a case I reviewed two years ago, if not more now, um, and it's been sitting literally just down here since I reviewed it, and I thought this was now probably a good time to make use of it. Now, in terms of the actual plan for what we're going to do, we're going to strip off all of the exterior bits, cut some holes that we need to with a Dremel that I recently acquired, and then uh, basically build a system into our paint, the, paint the uh, sort of shell that's left yellow with some sort of wear marks and stuff to make it look a bit more metallic. Um, I suppose it is metal, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then build a PC inside with some water cooling from bits from Alpha Cool. Thank you to Alpha Cool. Those bits will be coming fairly shortly, and I'm going to do a full video on water cooling the system. So feel free. To to, to make sure you're subscribed for that one. Now we do have some other bits here. Silverstone sent over some RGB strips, which are awesome. These are the LS03s, if I remember rightly. And then we have this just incredible PCIe riser. This is what I'm gonna be using to lie the graphics card down. So um, thank you massively to Silverstone. Um, if you wanna check out any of these bits, I will leave links to them in the description down below if you fancy. So once again, thank you to Silverstone for that. Um, but as I said, the main idea here is to modify the case to make it look like the bomb, build a system into it so that it, you know, is a functioning kind of gaming PC while having a nice aesthetic. And we might do a few extra interesting things with uh, some fire extinguishers and stuff to make it look uh, most like the bomb as we can. Now I've said the word bomb probably enough times in this video that it's going to get fully demonetized. So if you want to support the channel and make sure that this project actually succeeds in any measurable state, then make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications for these future videos and support me in the links in the description. There's a page if you want to support directly or Amazon Overclock UK affiliate links. There's also a private internet access VPN, highly recommend it. It's one of the links down there too, so there's a load of stuff. Um, I would mention just as what we're doing video wise, uh, obviously this is the kind of introduction video, but the uh, main series will be starting in a week or two. We're actually, you know, start stripping the case down and cutting some holes in it, painting and all that jazz. I'll be doing a separate video on water cooling and then obviously just actually building the system and all that sort of stuff. Um, I would mention that if you don't want to wait for all of the individual episodes. I will be doing a full wrap up video at the end as well. So if you just want to watch one video to see how this does, feel free to uh, kind of wait for that one. Otherwise, that's kind of it for this kind of introductory video to this series. As I said, thank you to Silverstone and Alphaco for supporting the project. And if you want to support the project, as I said, loads of links down there too. And make sure if you do want to see the videos that are coming out, you're subscribed with notifications because YouTube is terrible for actually showing videos apparently. So uh, if you could do that, that'd be great. And Otherwise, yeah, if you've got any thoughts on the project or any suggestions, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I reply to almost every comment that I can anyway. Um, so yeah, feel free to do so. And otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.